YouTube channel and another flow with me, Sarah Malkin. Today's flow is going to get into the hamstrings and sort of outer hips a little more, um, which might feel quite soothing after it feels quite intense. <laughs> so hopefully it will be nice, whatever happens. Um, and we're going to start on our backs. You will actually need some sort of strap today. And if you don't have a, a yoga strap, you can use a dressing gown cord or a tie or a belt. So if you want to pause the video, go and grab that, that'd be great. And also an offering for a yoga block. Again, if you don't have a yoga block, a big book or even um, Tupperware might be quite useful or anything you can think of really. And sort of place the block towards the top of your mat. And then we're going to come and lie on our backs. And just let your strap be sort of near you, grabbing distance near you. Come down onto your back. And then actually start to walk your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees knock together. And if that feels like you've sort of shortened the spine up, allow the knees to come back up. Lift your hips and then sort of tuck your tailbone so your lower back flushes against the mat and then let your knees knock. And arms can be somewhere resting on the body or down by your side. And I want us to actually, rather than this being sort of completely passive and we land into it and feel like, oh, I could stay here forever, I want us to feel something. <laughs> so maybe something in the outer hips, in the sort of IT band area. If this feels completely passive, then just walk your feet a little bit further out flex your feet and roll onto the inner edge of your feet and then let your knees knock. And maybe you, anywhere you come, you can't really feel anything, but let the body now just start to settle. Close your eyes, let your face soften, complete ease through the face, through the head, the jaw, shoulders and spine. And just start to land into your breath. And the softness and the ease that that can bring you. And if it does feel quite fiery in the, in the legs, in the pelvis at all here, see your exhale as an invitation to just soften, just drop a little deeper rather than actively holding on. Just smooth yourself in. Let everything surrender to the ground. Nothing to hold on to. And then together we'll take a really big full breath in through the nose. Let the breath sigh out through your mouth. <sighs> Hear your own breath here. Take one more like that full breath in through the nose. Let the breath travel to puff up the belly. And then exhale, sigh the breath out. Sink a little deeper to your mat. <sighs> Really lovely. Now you can use your hands for support here. Just allow your knees to return back towards the ceiling over your feet and then heel toe your feet a little closer in. Start to hug your shins in towards your chest as you just let your arms sort of take your shins and take a little rock side to side. Keep your eyes closed. Let your jaw stay soft, stay sort of melty. And maybe it feels yummy to really sort of self-massage either side of the spine here. Landing in the physicalities of your body and how that's showing up today. Every day will be so different. So just feel into that. And then keep hold of your right leg. Just let your left leg come all the way down long to the ground. Let it really be sort of taken, held by the earth. Snuggle your right knee a little closer in towards you. Really get cozy with that and then we're going to take our strap and place the strap around the ball of your right foot let there be length on both sides so you have sort of levers here and then have the strap in your right hand both straps in your right hand let your left hand be either just come down by your side or maybe just softly sort of caressing your left hip bone on an inhale, start to flex your right foot as you draw the heel away from you. Toes move towards the face slightly. And as you exhale, ever so slowly, really enjoy this journey. Start to move your right foot to your right leg towards the right, away from the body. And rather than instantly sort of 
feeling into the ego and thinking, oh, how big can I take this? Really pay attention to the journey on the way down. Like the, the bigness, the broadness of this isn't the goal. The goal is to be here and notice. And then allow, rather than coming all the way out to the side, your right foot to just gently draw up towards the top, on the back right corner of your mat, towards your head. Let the left leg be heavy and spine soft. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, just journey your right foot all the way back through centre. Take the straps with your left hand now and bring your right hand to your right hip crease, like in that nice juicy part where your leg meets the pelvis. Take a breath in again, extend the right heel away. And as you exhale now, we slowly take it to the left and only go so far as the right hip stays grounded. So you might feel like, oh, it'd be really good to feel into the spine and take that all the way over. But just let this sort of subtle movement be felt. And often, it is felt a bit more this way. Shoulders are melting, toes gently draw towards the face a little more. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, release. Come back through center. Take the strap away from your foot. Keep the leg long. Flex your right foot. Take another breath in. And then as you exhale, let your right leg come all the way down, keeping its length all the way down to the ground. And you might feel a difference between two sides. One might feel longer, I'll let you decide which. Or maybe there's not much difference, that's so funny. And then let your left knee come in towards your chest. Squeeze in of your shin, gentle hug. Strap comes around the ball of our left foot now. Take it in both hands. And then left hand takes both straps. Right arm can either be down on the ground or to your right hip point. Take a breath in, flex your left foot, let your left heel really reach towards the ceiling or sky as your toes move towards your face. And then as you exhale, slow down, let the journey be what's exciting for this. Allow the left leg to move away from the body. With control, with smoothness of breath. And really let your left hand have this control, have this holding of the leg rather than it just being secondary here. And maybe the toes move towards your head a little more so you feel down the back of the hamstring. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, return the left leg up towards the sky. Take the strap in your right hand, left hand to your left hip crease. Really feel your own body there. Take a breath in, flex the left foot. And as you exhale, journey the left foot over towards the right, very slowly. One side might feel completely different, so honour that. And again, only go as far as the left hip stays grounded. Rather than this becoming a spinal twist, keep this in the legs. Take one more breath in here. And then exhale, release, journey back through centre. Remove the strap, keep flexing your left foot, take a breath in. And on your exhale, left leg is all the way down long. Start to reach your arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch, big inhale. And as you exhale, hug your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms back around your shins. Take a little rock side to side and then come into a happy baby. Either your peace fingers take your big toes and wrap around them or you take the outer edges of your feet. And rather than like picking yourself up here, let your lower back be flushed with the mat. Feel like your tailbone could press down. Soften the shoulders. And maybe you just explore a little bit of space coming and lengthening one leg and then the other. Maybe a rock side to side, anything at all. Smooth the breath out, take one more inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna to start to roll over the legs coming all the way into a tabletop. If that felt good to sort of roll back and forth for a moment, then you can do that. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, we'll all, four, all fours in our tabletop. Spread wide into your fingers and then actively press your fingertips down so the knuckles of your fingers lift up. Press the tops of your feet into the mat and then just draw up through your pelvic floor. Mula Banda starts to switch on. Let this feel like an energy lift all the way through the body. Hug your belly in towards your spine and then just get really sort of excited by your breath. Full inhale. 
Full exhale, ujjayi breath starts to come into play. If this is a new word for you, then just breathe in and out through the nose with a gentle restriction on the back of the throat. And then start to marry this breath into some movement in the body. So maybe cat cow is where it feels right for you to go. Inhale to drop the belly as your heart space lengthens forward, shoulders away from the ears, neck stays lovely and long. And as you exhale, take it the opposite way, chin tucks towards your chest, puff up your shoulders, belly draws in, tailbone tucks. So maybe you're moving through those two. Or maybe you just start to move into any, any space that feels yummy to arrive into. So it might be a wiggle through the hips, the wrists, the shoulders, anything at all. Just really take this time to explore where your body is, what you're landing into, what might you need more space in, where might you need, need that more space. And then eventually we'll refind center. Hands re-spread if they've sort of got a little lackluster. Start to tuck your toes and then lift your hips up and get up and back. We come into our downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Pressing the ground away through your hands, let your head melt towards your legs. And rather than there being a lot of weight forward, can you really activate through the fingertips and then draw yourself back? Feel like you could split your mat into two. Maybe you start to pedal out through the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. I've got a lot of clips going on. Maybe you wiggle the hips or even lift a leg. Just land into any movement that's calling your knee. And really see this as a time to just tune back into the breath and explore your body and how it's showing up for you. Let the jaw be soft, face is releasing, so no effort through the eyebrows. And then take an inhale, bend your knees a lot, bring your gaze between your hands. As you exhale, just very slowly journey to the top of your mat, padding your way forward. Arrive with your feet hip width distance apart. And then soften all the way over, big forward fold, Uttanasana, soft bend in your knees. Start to just take your hands side to side as you explore the ground underneath you and just sway from your hips. So maybe your fingertips are really sort of taking to the ground or you just find a gentle, almost washing of the arms, the fingers. Really allow your chin to tuck towards your chest so you feel this length through the back of the neck. The ground's just holding you completely. And then refine center. Let your left hand come just in front of your feet, almost in a triangle, and then come onto the fingertips of that left hand. Bend your left knee quite heavily and start to draw your right hip back as you straighten your right leg. Now, as if you're peeling up through a bow and arrow, drawing a bow and arrow, start to peel up your right arm, reach towards the ceiling or sky, feel length through both sideways here. Energize through the fingertips. Let that feel sort of big and purposeful. Take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, release. Take it to the other side. So right hand replaces left. Bend your right knee a lot. Start to straighten your left leg. Draw your left hip back. And as you inhale, peel up through the left thumb. Get broad. And as you exhale, left hand comes all the way back down. Press into your feet, have a bend in both knees, and then just start to roll up through the body, bone by bone. Feeling your way through your spine as you rise. Take a few rolls out through your shoulders. Soften that space. Yes, beautiful. And then as we inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. On an exhale now, just start to reach your right arm back as your left arm moves forward. Now, rather than your hips coming with you for this journey, can you keep both hip points facing forward? Expand through the fingertips, take one more breath in. And as you exhale, right hand trickles down, inhale, reach, press down through the feet. Take it to the other side as you exhale, left arm reaches behind you, left hip stays pointing forward. Expand here, full breath in. On your exhale, left hand comes down to inhale, re rise. Press down through the feet, full breath in. Exhale, draw your hands down through heart center in prayer, Anjali Mudra. Soften your shoulders, let your thumbs connect to your heart space. Close your eyes and just for a moment, really feel the presence of yourself land here. A firming down of your feet and then draw up through your pelvic floor. Let your belly button scoop in towards your spine. Feel this rise through the front line of the body. 
complete support from yourself. Full inhale here. Full exhale. And as you inhale, re-reach. Arms come all the way up overhead. On the exhale now, start to hinge from your hips. Soft bend in the knees. Fold the body forward. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Head releases. On an inhale, we'll find a halfway lift. Hands can either stay on the ground, come to your shins or your thighs, draw your belly in and let your head feel like it could move slightly further forward. On your exhale, refold. Hands come down to the ground. Step your right foot all the way back as you come into a low lunge. Land your right knee and untuck your right toes. Now squeeze the inner thighs together and as you inhale, rise, press the ground away. Find Anjani Asana, low crescent lunge. On your exhale, just sort of soften yourself, ground yourself into this a little more. And on an inhale, you reach a little deeper up into the fingertips. As you exhale, start to twist towards the left. Left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Inner thighs draw in. Again, expand through the fingertips. Full breath in here. Exhale, left hand trickles down as you frame your left foot with both hands. Energize through the fingers. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Step the left foot back to a downward facing dog. Smooth back into your breath. Keep pressing the ground away. Heart is melting towards your thighs. On an inhale, find a ripple. Really feel this movement through the spine to bring you to a high plank. Soften here on your exhale. Give yourself permission not to panic. Draw your front line of body to your back. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, knees lower down, untuck your toes. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward slightly. Shoulders move a little further past the wrists. And on your exhale, elbows squeeze in, lower the body down, thighs, belly, chest. Press into the tops of your feet so your kneecaps lift. Squeeze your glutes. And as we inhale, roll the shoulders, lift the heart, cobra. Exhale, re-release. Toes re-tuck, rise yourself up through a tabletop and then lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Keep pressing the ground away. Invite this smoothness and fullness of breath. And on an inhale, start to reach right leg up towards the ceiling or sky. Take your time as you rise this. Exhale, round through the spine. Step or guide your right foot in between your hands. On an inhale, we sweep the arms high up overhead, rise to a high lunge. And as we exhale, start to twist towards the right. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Let your left heel get a little bit more excited as you squeeze your left glute. And then just breathe life here. Feel this movement into the spine. Take one more breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down as you inhale, re-rise, high lunge. Exhale, hands pull down through heart center. Start to dial your heart space forward. We're going to come into a warrior three. Weight pulls into the right foot. Left foot lifts. Take a breath in here. Lengthen. And on the exhale, hands come down. Allow your head to melt. And then just start to stack and open your left hip. It's almost a hybrid half moon and, and standing splits here. Either flexing or pointing your left foot. Let the head get heavy. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, left foot starts to come to the right of your mat, sort of directly behind your right foot. Softness in the knees and then just fold over here. It might feel like quite a lot, so just let the head really do the sort of melting. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. And then as you inhale, start to roll up through the spine. Keep a bend in the knees to support you. When you arrive, when you arrive here, let your arms reach out wide, full breath in. Exhale, left, sorry, right hand catches your left wrist. Inhale, press the ground away through the feet, reach up. And as you exhale, hands reach towards the right as your hips just press slightly further towards the left. Another breath in here. Exhale, release. Press your weight into your right foot, soft bend in your right knee. Catch your left leg in towards your chest. Flex your left foot, squeeze your inner thighs together and just rise this, just feel this lifted body. Right hand stays on the left shin, start to reach the left arm back. Find a nice big twist here, full inhale. And then exhale, take it back. 
very slowly and gracefully and lightly, land your left foot next to your right and come into chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend through the knees, feel like you could sit back in a chair here, soften something in your body, maybe your chest or head. Maybe you smile for a moment. Inhale fully. And then on the exhale, hands come all the way down, forward fold, Utkatasana. Inhale, find a ripple through the spine, bringing you to your halfway lift. Adho Uttanasana, hands either stay on the ground, shins or thighs. Exhale, refold. Start to step your left foot all the way back. Find your low lunge, left knee lands, untuck your left toes. Press down through the feet, inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, just soften in, let the pelvis feel a little heavier. Take a breath in, breathe space into the body. And on your exhale, right arm reaches behind you, left arm forward, find a twist. Take a breath in, expand. On your exhale, right hand comes down, reframe your right foot, hands plant. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. Step the right foot back, downward facing it. On an inhale, we find a ripple forward, come into high plank here. And on your exhale now, either come down through the knees, or onto the knees, or we come through Chaturanga, shifting weight forward, shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, we lower halfway, keep lengthening forward as you come halfway. Tuck your toes here, knees stay off the ground. And as you inhale, press the ground away, lift up the heart, upward facing dog, or we're in a cobra. On the exhale, take your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Re-soften, re-arrive. Inhale, left leg lifts up slowly, enjoy the journey. Three-legged dog. On the exhale, rounding through the spine, step or guide, left foot in between the hands. Inhale, we find a reach all the way up through the arms. High lunge. And exhale, start to twist towards the left. Inner thighs hug in. Get a little more active through the right heel. Squeeze your right glute. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release. Left hand comes down as you inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, draw your hands down together in your Prayer at your heart. Weight comes forward into the left foot. Warrior three, can you get up there gracefully, lifting the right leg, lengthening your heart space forward. Take a breath in here. On the exhale, hands come down, head releases. Stack and open your right hip. This hybrid half moon standing splits. Soften your jaw, maybe stick out your tongue. <sighs> One more breath in. And then as you exhale, soft bend into your left knee. Let your right foot come to the left side of your mat. Again, almost diagonally behind your left foot. Melt over here. Let the body just receive this fold. Receive the sensation. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then slowly, keeping a little bend in your knees, Roll up through the spine, bone by bone. Take your arms wide when you rise. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Let your left hand catch your right wrist as you exhale. Inhale, feel this reach and exhale. Hands move towards the left, hips to the right. Breathe into the right side body. One more breath in here. Full breath out. Release the clasp of your hands. Weight pulls into your left foot as you start to draw your right knee in towards your chest. Gather it in. One side might feel completely different to the other. So let go of any sort of negative thought pattern that comes in when we start to balance. Left foot plants down. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Drop through your pelvic floor and your heart. Left hand catches the right shin as you inhale, start to reach your right arm back. Find this twist. Get expansive through the fingertips. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, we come back through center very gracefully and softly, landing our right foot next to our left. Little gap between our feet. Come down, Utkatasana chair pose. Sit your bum back. Take a breath in here. And on the exhale, hands come all the way down. Take a nice big forward fold. Inhale, find a ripple halfway, your choice where the hands go. Exhale, soften down, come through. Start to heel to your feet out as wide as your mat now, splaying your toes out towards this, out towards the sides. Come down into your malasana squat. Now your heels can be lifted or down on the ground, whatever is more supportive for you. And then just bring your hands to the ground and take a little shimmy out side to side, feel this movement. 
Let the breath slow and be supportive. And then find some stillness in this. Pause in your body. Keep this life of breath coming through. And then left hand comes down to the sort of top left corner of your mat. As you inhale, start to spiral and open right arm rises, find a big open reach here. As you exhale, release, take this to the other side. So right hand comes down wide. And on your inhale, lengthen left arm all the way up. On your exhale, bring your left hand down. Pause for a moment. Either palms come together in prayer or arms are open wide. Rather than your knees caving in here, can you keep this invitation to draw them out? Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Let your hands come down, hips travel just a little bit higher and then step your right foot all the way back, keeping the left leg where it is or maybe shimming it a little further forward. Then land your right knee and untuck your right toes. We're in a nice big lizard lunge here. Settle into this, arrange the feet as you need to. And then maybe find little rock side to side or a few circles through the left hip. And then eventually let your pelvis start to get a little heavier as you roll your weight onto the outer edge of your left foot. Flex your left foot and then let your left hand come to your left thigh. Not on your knee, on your thigh. Press the ground away through your right hand and just start to twist the body up towards the ceiling. Option to stay with this or left arm just makes this a little bigger, full breath in. Exhale, releases the left hand down to the ground. Start to travel your hips back as you straighten your left leg, toes to face, and just fold in. Take a full breath in, find a ripple through the chest. Exhale, refold. Pour your weight back forward into the left foot, hands come underneath the shoulders. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Step your left foot back, come into your high plank. And then your choice, either knees down or chaturanga or straight to downward facing dog, whatever you need to flow through. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise, up dog cobra, or you're just breathing in your down dog. Exhale, we'll all meet downward facing dog. Soften the head. Inhale, we start to reach right leg up. Find your three-legged dog, and then bend your right knee. Stack and open your right hip as you draw your right heel towards your bum. Notice if you've sort of collapsed in the shoulders here. Can you press evenly through both hands so your chest is facing the ground? Take a full breath in, and then on your exhale, draw your right knee towards your left elbow. Shoulders come forward, press the ground away, then take your right knee to your right elbow, and then sweep it all the way up and back. Dance the hip open, three-legged dog. Full breath in, straighten your right leg now. And on your exhale, round through the spine, step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up overhead. High lunge, and as you exhale, we twist to the right. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Inhale, re-rise. This time on your exhale, land your left heel down. Open your hips wide, come to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Settle into your body here, maybe soften the shoulders. Anything that you need to just sort of calm the body now. We're on two grounded feet, start to flip your front palm. Inhale, reach forward, keep the legs where they are. As you exhale, dance the right arm up and over, come into a reverse warrior. Inhale straight away, re-rise warrior two. And on your exhale, come to extended side angle. Inhale, re-rise, warrior two. On your exhale, take it back, reverse, warrior. Just feel this arc through the right side of the body. Inhale, re-rise, warrior two. This time on your exhale, we're gonna come down to a little more of a full extended side angle. Right hand comes to the inner edge of your right foot. Now, if you've got your block or something for support, that can come underneath your right hand. Whatever setting, feels most supportive for you is fantastic. And then let your left arm sweep down forward and spiral open. Tuck your tailbone and just let your this sort of twist through the heart space, lengthen you towards the ceiling. Exploring some space here. If this feels a lot, just breathe. <laughs> just stay with me and breathe. On an inhale, start to straighten your right leg as you reach your left arm forward. And as you exhale, re-bend, just draw your left arm all the way back. Take that once more. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Left arm reaches forward. 
Exhale, re-bend your right knee, left arm reaches back. Inhale, reach forward again, straighten your right leg. We'll keep drawing the right hip back. And then both hands come down to frame your right foot. You can keep the block here. We're going to come back to it for a moment. So hands come down to frame. Now come onto the ball of your left foot and just step that left foot a little closer in towards you so you can ground down the left heel with a bit more ease with the left hip coming forward. Almost a warrior one with the legs. So both hip points are facing the top of the mat. Left hand comes down to the ground on your brick, whatever support you need, or just on the mountain to the fingertips. Let your right hand come to your right hip crease. Again, that nice juicy part of your hip. Right hand rotates your right hip around and back, letting your belly and heart turn towards the right. Now option to just stay with this, or your right arm starts to reach up. Press into the big toe mound of your right foot and the outer edge of your left foot. Full breath in, feel length forward to lift. And exhale, maybe you twist a little more. One more breath in here. Exhale, release. Soft bend into your right knee. Let both hands come forward. Remove your brick just out of the way. And then bring your weight onto the right foot. Left leg opens. Come to this big, dancey standing split, stacking your left hip. Take a full breath in here. Full breath out. And then press down through your right foot. Start to draw your left knee in towards your chest without the wobbles that I'm doing, hopefully, but it's fine if you do. Catch your left shin with your hands. Again, we take the same, same variation as we took before. Right hand can catch the left shin, left arm reaches back. Or maybe this time, the right hand comes to the out, outer edge of your left foot and you start to extend your left leg away. Now, if you have got your strap, you can also have this encouragement with the strap to help you. Strap comes down around the ball of your right foot into your right hand, left arm reaches back as the strap just acts as an extension of your arm. Breathing, drawing up through the pelvic floor, inner, inner legs, inner thighs, squeezing in. Take one more inhale and then exhale, gently releasing, turning back to center, feet to the top of the mat and just coming to stand, arms down by your side. Take a breath and reach the arms all the way up overhead. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find a ripple up through the spine. On the exhale, fold back in. Heel toe your feet out wide, turn the toes and then come back to Malasana squat. Again, maybe just a little bit of wiggling feels yummy and supportive. And then find some stillness. Hands either together in prayer or arms down by your side. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. And then we take the same big twists again, big open twists. Left arm comes wide. Let your left, your left arm and left inner thigh hug in towards one another. Like try and be best friends here. And then right arm reaches up. Keep rolling your knees out wide. Full breath in. Exhale, release, take it to the other side. Right arm out wide. Arm and leg drawing in towards one another. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Big open chest, full breath in here. Exhale, release. Back in your Malasana squat, hands come underneath your shoulders, lift your hips a little bit, and then step your left leg all the way back. Lower your left knee, untuck your left toes. We're in our lizard lunge again. Any sort of shuffling with the feet that feels supportive, do that. And then maybe you take it and rock side to side or roll out through the hip. Smooth your breath. Let the ground hold you here. So nice to be close to the ground. And then we rock onto the outer edge of our right foot. Flex your right foot. Drop your pelvis. Right hand comes to the right thigh. Let both hands feel like they could press away in opposite directions to start to turn the belly and heart space towards the ceiling or sky. Just sort of proud self here. Option to stay with this or right arm can reach. Full breath in. Exhale, release. Start to journey your hips back as you straighten your right leg. Toes to face, fold. Take a breath in, find a ripple through the heart, lengthen the spine. 
And then exhale, refold, pad yourself back forward. Weight comes into the right foot. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. Your choice, step straight back downward facing dog or find a flow. Exhale to lower, knees down or chaturanga. Inhale, roll the shoulders, lengthen heart, cobra or up dog, neck is long. Exhale, take it up and back, downward facing dog. Soften the head. No effort through the jaw. And then on an inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, draw your left heel towards your bum, stack and open your hip. Even through both hands, but through both shoulders. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, left knee towards your right elbow. Weight comes forward, shoulders past the wrist. Dial this round towards your left elbow. And then let the left leg scoop back, up and back. Hip open, straighten your left leg, full breath in. Exhale, rounding through, step or guide, left foot in between the hands. Inhale, we rise to a high lunge. And exhale, take a twist to the left. Inhale, we rise. On the exhale, back heel grounds, warrior two. Soften the shoulders. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reach forward, keep your legs where they are. As you exhale, reverse the warrior. Right arm reaches all the way up and over. Inhale to re-rise, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, left forearm, left thigh. Right fingertips reach down, forward. Spiral the heart, turn the belly. Keep this tucking of the tailbone. It's quite the squeeze of the glutes here. Take a breath in, re-rise. Exhale, we take it back, reverse the warrior. Inhale, re-rise, and this time you'll exhale, big old extended side angle. Left hand comes to the inner edge of the left foot. Rather than sticking your bum all the way out here, can you keep tucking your tailbone? Again, any blocks or support needed or wanted, rather than needed, just if you want something, bring it underneath your left hand, or you can just be on your fingertips. Right arm reaches forward. Start to straighten your left leg as you draw your left hip back. Reach a little deeper into the right fingertips. Full breath in. Exhale, bend your left knee, draw your right arm back. Inhale, re-straighten, lengthen right arm forward. Exhale, bending through. Inhale to reach forward. And then as you exhale, both hands come down to frame your left foot. Pivot onto the ball of your right foot and just step the right foot in a little closer towards you. So you can ground down that right heel and both hips turn forward. The feet can be quite wide here, rather than behind one another. If you feel like that is more inviting to turn the hip, then come there. Right hand is inner edge of the left foot, either on a brick or just on the ground. Bring your left hand to your left hip crease. Start to rotate that round as you turn your belly, chest, then heart, maybe the left arm. Revolve trikonasana. Feel like your breath could just support this even more as you inhale, take up space. Exhale, maybe you journey into the twist a little more or just find something to soften. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release, left hand comes down. Shimmy your block out of the way. Soft bend into the left leg. Start to pick up your right leg. Standing splits with this nice open hip. Full breath in. Full breath out, connect both knees and then press down the left foot to rise, right leg hugs in towards the chest. Flex your right foot, Ooh, here we are again. Pressing down through the left foot, squeeze the inner thighs together, really lift up through your heart space and the options are yours. Left hand can stay around your right shin as you reach your right arm back, just feel this expanse. Or left hand takes the outer edge of your right foot, extend away, or again, you have the option to bring the strap into play here, round the ball of your right foot. Maybe your gaze turns towards your fingertips, draw up through the pelvic floor. Take one more inhale. And on an exhale, return back through center. Both feet land on the ground. Just come to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands reach down by your side, palms open. Slight tuck of your tailbone. Feel this lift up through the front body. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. On an inhale, reach your arms up overhead. 
On an exhale, bend your knees, sit your bum back, come to Utkatasana, chair pose, and then start to come onto the balls of your feet, heels high, very slowly, and probably slower than I am, with control, we're going to come all the way down so our bum comes to our heels. And then, as gracefully as we can, land our seat back and come to seated. Take your legs out long. On an inhale, reach your arms up overhead. You can have a nice big bend on your knees here. On your exhale, pull your body forward. Feel this sort of lift and rise through the belly. Rather than coming straight down, feel like you could lift over something. One more inhale. And then exhale, start to just fold in, round the spine. Let your chin draw towards your chest. Let go of any idea that you must be touching your feet here. Just wherever the body has landed, that's wonderful. And then just feel the, the echo of the practice in the body settling you in. One more inhale. One more exhale. As you inhale, re-rise. And then just let your left leg, left knee bend slightly. Almost if we were going to come into Bhattakanasana, but just the leg is sort of there for support. Take your right arm, right leg, and just catch it in your arms, like you're holding a baby or just something snugly close to you. Right knee comes to your right inner elbow. Right foot can be taken by your left hand or left elbow. And then just take a little rock out through your hip. Close your eyes. And rather than this trying to be sort of something we're quickly moving through, slow everything down and just really feel your own body here, how it's moving, how it's processing this. Now this might be enough for you. If it is, just stick with this. Keep cradling in. Otherwise, maybe, and just maybe you would like to try this, we're going to backpack our right leg. So taking the right foot a little higher, take your right leg over your right shoulder like you're putting on the strap of your backpack, and then right hand comes down to the ground. Right foot is taken by your left hand, and then maybe this is enough again, it's quite a sort of wriggle around, or you start to extend your right leg away from you. Heart space lifts towards the left, and just breathe here. <laughs> As you can see, I'm super tight in my hamstrings, so this is incredibly hard for me. Wherever you are, take a breath in, and then exhale, release. We'll meet everyone in the snuggling, in the snuggling leg. And then just draw your left knee, sort of central in front of your mat. Left foot comes round to the right. Take your right leg all the way over your left, so your right knee is now on top of your left. We're in cow face pose with the legs. Arms come down by your side. Take your breath in and rock your weight forward slightly, lengthen the heart, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, you might just stay here. It can be very strong, so be supportive if that's where you're staying. Otherwise, maybe you walk slightly further forward. Again, keep this length in your heart. Rather than coming straight down, keep this lift forward, up and over. Smooth out your breath. Just settle into this. Surrender what needs to be surrendered. One more inhale. Full exhale. And then inhale, just re-rise. Hands come behind you for support. Just unravel the legs and then we'll take it to the other side. So right leg is just softly bent on the ground for support. Take your left leg and again, snuggle it in. Like you're cradling something wonderful. Either taking the left foot with your right hand or left foot comes into the elbow crease of your right arm. Rock slowly, gently side to side. One leg, one side might feel completely different. So just honor that. Treat each side as if they're a separate body. This might be enough, or again, if you're feeling particularly wild today, start to backpack your left leg over your left shoulder. Just the most casual thing in the world, right? Left arm reaches out wide, just like we did in Malasana. And then right hand catches the left foot. Maybe you start to dial your heart to the right as you extend left leg away. Stay long with your breath. Full inhale. And then exhale, 
release this. Come back to cradling the leg. Shimmy your right leg a little closer in towards you so the right knee can be central, right foot out to the left, and then take your left leg all the way over. So you should just be able to see your left knee now rather than your right. Hands come down for support. Take a breath in, feel yourself rise up and slightly forward over the legs. And then as you exhale again, maybe just staying exactly where you are and find something to soften or start to journey forward. And every day when we show up, our body is gonna feel different. So without expectation, without attachment to, oh, I was here yesterday, or I felt really strong then. Just be exactly where you are now and have, have this gratitude for that, for just being able to move your body freely. How wonderful. Take one more breath in here. Full breath out. And then as you inhale, re-rise with control. Hands come behind you, unravel your legs. If you're quite far down on your mat like me, just shimmy yourself forward and then come all the way down to your back, either rolling down with control or if you feel like you just want to collapse, full permission to let your head and shoulders soften to the earth. Take your elbows out wide and cactus the arms and then just let your knees knock towards the pipe. Close your eyes. Let the breath just sort of settle you, earth you in, dig you deeper. Maybe you stay with this, or right foot can come over the left thigh, just above the left knee, feeling a little bit more space down the left side of the body. Receiving this just as you are. No need to adjust or try to feel for any more. One more breath. As you exhale, release the right foot from your left thigh. Draw your knees up through center, and then just knock the knees over to the left. Just nice squeaky floorboards. Again, maybe left foot over right thigh this time. Hooking it on, letting just the gravitational pull the weight of that left leg draw you down a little more. Soften the shoulders, the head. One more breath in, one more breath out. Release the left foot, draw the knees back through center. And if there's anything that you feel sort of inspired to move through before you let yourself soften, it might be a happy baby or just another hug of the knees in towards the chest. Or if you feel inclined to suddenly do something wild, then you can pause this video and do that. Otherwise, just let your legs and arms calm down long into a shavasana, taking your shoulders out a little further away from one another, picking them up and then taking them out, re-landing them. Eyes are closed, face is soft. And if you have time to stay here and just absorb this, then do really gift yourself this time. Pause the video and lie here for as long as you can, as long as you have the time, the capacity, the space for. And if that's all you've got time for, then we'll gently rise to meet in Sukhasana, cross-legged seat. Journey up however you like. Take it slowly. And with the eyes closed, we'll meet here. Easy pose, hands come together in prayer at the heart, Anjali Mudra. Take a slight roll of the shoulders and a lift of your heart to your thumbs, full breath in together. Big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Bowing your head to your hands, to your heart. Thanking yourself for creating and carving out this time and for treating yourself with love and kindness. Let that carry through the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me today, for practicing with me today. 
if that felt yummy, then um, you can do it whenever you'd like. Save it, subscribe, whatever things happen on YouTube. Um, if you'd like to be in the know of more stuff coming, then subscribe to my channel and I'm trying to bring as many videos as I can to you. If you heard me talking about Ujjayi breath and that is something completely new to you, I have a video on that which you can have a go at and let that come into, into tune with your body. But have a really wonderful day and I'll see you back here soon. Bye!